This is a discussion we had most of last year and it came out very firmly in favour of leaving the EU. Everywhere I go, I find people who admire UK democracy, admire British democracy and very much admire the British people last year for sticking up for their democracy. Everywhere I go around the world, I, might, I meet people who think Brexit is going to be a spectacular success, exactly as the Prime Minister has said, and who are queuing up to help us to make it a spectacular success. We heard all these arguments last year. Not a thing has changed. And I think it really is insulting the intelligence of the electorate to say that they got it wrong. Of course there will be elections down the line, of course there, uh, there will be, but be in no doubt that the people of this country were told all sorts of absolute claptrap about the economic consequences of leaving the EU. They were told there would have to be a, a punishment budget. They were told the economy would go off a cliff. The very opposite has happened. And uh, what I'm struck by is the incredible confidence that international investors, uh, if, uh, international leaders have in our country and in the future of our country and in our ability to make a great success of a relationship that doesn't mean leaving Europe but simply extricating ourselves from the treaties of the European Union in such a way as to give ourselves the opportunity to do free trade deals that we could never do before. This country has, a, our country, the UK, has a phenomenal future and people are waking up to that. And as for Tony Blair, you know, whatever his merits as a, as a former Prime Minister, this is the guy who would have taken our country into the Euro with what would have been catastrophic consequences. This is the guy who dragooned the United Kingdom into the Iraq war on a completely false prospectus with consequences which foreign ministers here are still trying to deal with. So I respectfully say to, to Tony Blair, those who call on the British people to rise up against Brexit, I urge the British people to rise up and turn off the TV next time Blair comes on with his condescending campaign.